supposed to rain. So I'm gonna get my little step in now instead of waiting till nighttime when it's total darkness like I'm Winnie the Pew. Winnie done gone tactical. Hell yeah, he on the PSC team. Look, y'all see what it says. Um, I hear this, I, I've been hearing it, and, and we know to a certain degree it's true. Safe, protected, love, respected. But too many say that that's what they want, but they don't. They don't. I don't look. They can say one thing. Ah, and pull the damn little rubber thing out. They say it. Most of them. You can say anything. Forget what you said. Look at a person's actions. What are they doing? What are you doing? Say protected, love, respect it. Okay. Do you do, do you reciprocate that? Well, I can't protect them. Mm, yes, you can. We ain't talking. All protection don't mean taking up firearms against somebody. Well, I'm going to steal this from my sister, my baby sister. She said, you can protect your man. Don't put him, don't let your mouth and your funky ways, she, she still say that. She got that from grandmama, funky ways. Don't let your mouth and your funky ways put him in, in a bad position uh, uh, to get into something out in public with somebody else. That's a form of protection. Not doing, not doing stupid stuff. Not doing stupid stuff like that. And, be, and she, she kind of got a point. But the thing is, respect is easy. But see, a lot of, you know, you want it, but you don't give it because you feel you deserve it. And there's too many clown dudes that give it to you, some of it, without earning it. But here's something else. And you know I'm going to make some folks mad, but you know me, I don't care. Because if the shoe don't fit, don't wear it. Don't even try to put your, why are you taking your shoe off? trying to put your shoe I want to see if it fit so I can complain to you shoe don't fit don't even try to wear it what are you talking about a lot of them they talk that stuff when they getting close to the end of the rope that's when all that stuff come into play because we already know I know not all but look a lot of a lot of folks that other dude wasn't required to do all that stuff what nowhere near required but I, this one thing I've always been and this is come down from granddaddy both of them to my daddy and somebody else said man this ninja tripping and y'all know who it is well you know of the person and I can tell when it's a person raised in a single household because they don't think I was telling him, yeah, I said, man, uh, both sets of grandparents. What well, do you mean both sets of grandparents? My mom's mother and father and my father's mother and father. And he was like, oh, I can tell you one of them, you one of them single mama. But hey, it ain't your fault that you were born to a single mother and having a man in the house ain't no guarantee that you're gonna be a rock star or a superstar or even that, but the odds are in your favor if you do. Hell, look at how some of these real daddies and stepdaddies get treated. Some of these real daddies, the only thing Boom Quee Quee can't, and, and, and Bonita and, and, and Rebecca can't say to you is the, the, uh, the only thing she can't say to you is, you ain't they daddy. Da 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 da. Now tell me y'all ain't never heard a chick say that to a dude in a heated argument and they living in the same house and they uh, uh, sharing a bed and swapping bodily fluids. You'd only have one time to say that to me. Ain't nothing gonna happen to you physically. Matter of fact, my whole facial expression probably wouldn't even change just going off about my business like normal and the first chance I get mm -mm. one of us gotta go 
either I'm looking for a place to you to go to get you out of my MF and house, well, that is gonna be the only thing because ain't no way in hell I'd be in a woman's house. Ain't, that ain't, that, that dog ain't gonna hunt. Matter of fact, that dog ain't even gonna get off the porch, let alone hunt. But anyway, women of all colors and stripes and from around the globe, and yes, I'm well-traveled. But well, that's only cause you was in, don't matter. That's like, oh, the only reason you got a million dollars cause you won the lottery, do we got it or not? Well, yeah, but there is no but. Now, granted, money doesn't build character, but let's keep it at the basics. Did he, do we have a million or not? Yeah, that, oh, they, there you go. Anyway, this is one thing that I've always uh, been at. Like I say, uh, uh, both granddaddies and my daddy and the uncles too. Be a dangerous man. Be a dangerous man. Possess some source of skill where you can feed yourself and anybody under your tent. People are dangerous, man. Yeah. You got to let some people know at one level or another that you're capable of extreme acts of violence. Notice I said extreme acts of violence. Because anybody can, I just see them, what you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? Uh-huh. That's what I thought. That's, that's a threat of violence. I said extreme acts of violence. But at the same time, this man needs to be civilized, be capable of extreme acts of violence while being civilized. Basically, know when to turn it off. I'll give you an example. And plus, you got to know when to deploy it. You just don't do it just for the sake, you know, just for the sake of doing stuff. That's that's dumb. That's that don't make no. There's a place. There's a place for people like that. You got to be anything that I do, uh, anything that I do, I can justify it. But anyway, most hardened civilian or military battle tested people, you notice it's rare that you hear them yelling, beating a chest going all this, that, and other. Mm -mm. I'm telling y'all, I didn't say it before, and I'll say it again. My buddy, Staff Sergeant Schaefer, well, he was Staff Sergeant then. He retired first sergeant. But the last time I seen him, when we were on the same plane, on the same field, he was a Staff Sergeant. Last time I seen him was that one guy I went to a retirement ceremony for a friend of mine, uh, he used to be my gun chief, and he retired as sergeant major. And I be dang, I go there to Fort Sill, Oklahoma, Lawton, Oklahoma, and there he is. And I thought I was going to tear up the whole damn place to get over there to him. And boy, and everybody was like, uh, we assume you two know each other. <laughs> but that's the thing about being combat arms in certain fields. Y'all gonna cross paths again, cause there's nowhere else you gonna go. If you're an artillery man, you gonna go to an artillery unit. Infantry, infantry. Armor, tanks. There's no way, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna go, that's where you gonna go. Cook, you can go anywhere. Mechanic, you can go anywhere. Medic, you can go anywhere. But them, you know, you an MP, you gonna, <laughs> You know, well, we're going to send you to 35th Medical Detachment. What? <laughs> it's not going to happen. I was being facetious. Not going to happen. But anyway, that man, I made a meme out of him. It, this, that, that's actually him. I love, When I learned how to make memes, a lot of my memes, especially of real men, are pictures that I have that I've taken or somebody I've known taken of somebody I know and share it with me. That's him. That's him in that picture. And that's why I'm saying, man, he's one of them. He's gonna cut fence and sort some bastards out. I don't know where he got that from. I don't know if he 
coined the phrase or not, Sergeant Schaefer was always calm. You rarely see him get riled up. But I've seen this man when it's time to get violent. And he can get violent. Very violent. But, but nicest guy. Y'all can talk about everything from the weather to this last batch of diesel we got. Got the damn, got the damn trucks clanking and rattling. They must have got water in the fuel or this, that, and other, complaining about what the chow is, and we ain't had steak in three weeks, and and next thing you know, we're talking terminal velocity, feet per second, muscle velocity, you know, uh, 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 POA, uh, POA, POI, point of aim, point of impact. But anyway, we doing all that stuff. Anyway, be that man. Be that man. That's that's all I'm saying. Be 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 that man. But never be don't be violent violent without a cause. That's all I'm saying. And uh, no, I don't think I'm gonna be able. To, yeah, I'm gonna have to skip that part. Okay, I'll just say it like this: When you have to get down get down so hard so thorough and so violent that anybody watching friend and foe alike don't want to see that from you again because your adversaries ain't may not always be your adversaries and definitely your friends may not always be your friends but hopefully they do but there are certain people I ain't got to see you get down. I know he know how to get down. I've seen it. And he know that man. He got, mm -mm, no, leave him alone. Tyler Preston. Yeah, leave that brother alone. Leave him alone. Sorry about that yeah, text message. But anyway, eh, but anyway, y'all get it. Look, safe, protected love respected that up only applies that if you fit under my roof and you fit under you know you understand your role and I understand my role I will never ask you to do my job never because if I can't do the job the last person I need doing the job is the person uh, is the person that I'm supposed to be protecting and doing for and cutting for. I ain't talking about you got you, you sprained your ankle and you asking her to carry the trash to the curb. You know, I ain't, I mean, because you always get somebody that just got to reach, got some of the, just, yeah, damn, your arms is long. You probably could have blocked Kareem's sky hook with them long ass arms. Notice something else too, y'all. The ones that normally come with that slick at the mouth. Long arm, S-H-I-T, bovine, fecal matter. It's normally the ones that ain't done a damn thing. Nothing. Ain't got nothing to show but mouth. Nothing. And then, uh, oh, and also, and you know, had to, and I'm going to end with this. The ones, somebody made a comment on my music channel. I don't know who this person is. don't matter. And it was about, uh, it was on a live stream that Sly and me done about the music industry. I don't know how you ask a question like this, this, that, and other. You ask a question like that, hell, everybody should know that. This, that, and other. That was a dumb question. This, uh, you came here to type this damn diatribe? on something like that. This is somebody that wants attention. See, here's the thing. Sometimes when people ask for your, some people ain't worthy of your attention. But sometimes when people beg for your attention, give it to them. Light they ass up. Light they ass up. Light them up. 
Smoke them if you got them. If they get mad, oh well. Now, oh, but you're, you're dealing with trolls and this, that. Look, I, I understand. Look, I know there's trolls out here. I know that. This is the world we live in. But those people always existed. They just didn't have the internet to do it. That's the same mofo they used to talk crap to you at the lunch counter in school. Same dude or chick. Some of them be brave enough to say it because they're in a crowd. Some of them won't. But the thing is, even prior to internet, when I was younger, you couldn't say just any whole thing to me. Like you trying to make me, because I'm going to give you a warning shot. Then you decide that you ain't going to take that one. Look, I didn't intentionally got my ass beat. How about that? I knew, I knew I wasn't going to win this fight. Because I knew him, him, and him was with him. I knew that. I knew that. But the thing is, let it fly. Bow! I hit him. I remember, I, people, what happened to your hand? That's how hard I hit him. Did I lose? Oh, yeah. Did they rough me up? Oh, yeah. But guess what? Never seen, well, I can't say never seen them. Every time, the handful of times I seen any one of them again, them fools is stepping over each other or run, especially if they by himself. Because think about it. This guy, he know we all together. And he still beat Perry ass. I mean, because by the time they can get down, pow, pap, 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 poof. Ooh, kick to the ribs. Oh, boy. Pap, pap, psh, ooh, hit to the head. Oh, boy. Well, it's time to lose. But I done bloodied this boy up. Broke his nose, swole his eye, lip, bloodied him up. I looked like he did at the end, but it was four of them total and just one of me. Tell the truth, I did get one of them back. I got him uh, coming out of Nun's party store. By himself. I seen him go in and I just stood outside. And when he came out, I blindsided him right upside his head. I literally, that's one of the few times in my life that I've actually kicked and stomped on somebody while they're on the ground and they can't even defend themselves anymore. And I just, he ain't had no problem jumping me when it was four of them. It's just me by myself now. You ought to be ashamed you, okay, right. Yeah, guess what? No sh uh, shame, and they can't, what's that shame, blame, explain? That's the dumbest crap I ever heard in my life. Look, it's only, shame blame and explain when it's a black man saying something that a black woman is doing but it ain't shame blame and explain when a black woman is talking about a black man now make that make some sense you negroes is some female dogs some go too far yes do some go too far yes but every one of them ain't like what i say everybody ain't lying everybody ain't lying just because you don't like it or you don't like their method, don't listen to them. They talking to you? Now, if they include you in their conversation, it's a free fire zone. Fire it well, grimly. I get that. But normally, it just be the cries coming from the cheap seats. Do you understand the context in which he, this person said it? Because this guy gets a pass for saying it because y'all like him. This guy says pretty much the same thing, and you don't like him. So, it's SBE in when he do it, but it's a valid point when he does the exact same thing. Look, man, y'all hypocrites. Some of y'all, some of y'all are damn hypocrites, and we see it, but it's okay. You know who you are, and so do we. But yeah, that's it. Look. Safe, protected, love, respected. Goes both ways. It's hard for a man to protect you and show you love under all circumstances and want to protect you even when you're doing things out in public, risking his safety behind your mouth. Behind your mouth. Or behind some bull crap. Y'all explain, she in there? 
Man, I tell you what. Babe, come on, man. Let's, come on. I mean, man, let, come on. Let's go. Now, if that, 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 she don't give a damn about you. She don't give a damn about you. Because if she did, she would drink a tall, cool glass, a shut the flip up, almost said it, because I'm about ready to get, put my man safety at risk over some bull crap. Now, if he walk in and somebody just pounding, stomping on you, that's different. Yeah, he gonna, but I mean, look, you got a chance to de-escalate this and you won't even shut up. She don't give a flip about you. She don't give a flip. And the same way, I don't see too many dudes doing that barking to get a chick beat up, but in case you do, he don't give a flip about you. So there, I play an even hand. Y'all be good, be safe, be prepared, uh, be ready to get down if you have to get down, walk away when you can, take your family with you. You ain't gonna do them no good or protect them or care for them if you're hurt, in jail, or worse. All right, bye.